Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Early this morning, the Pokemon Company dropped two in-depth trailers for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pearl and Pokemon Legends Arceus. In this video, we're going to briefly go over what was shown in the trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. As you can see here, yes, you can ride on the newly discovered Pokemon such as the Wire Deer, the Basque Legion, and the Hasunian Braviari, which looks really cool. There's also a couple of new game elements there as well. You can see that you can catch Pokemon while you're riding these Pokemon, which is pretty dope. We also got our first look at some interesting characters that you will encounter within the Hisuian region called Wardens. These Wardens actually protect these newly discovered Pokemon and they do this by making sure that their territories remain safe and they also provide them with food and water. Now the first Warden that you saw is named Mai and she's in charge of the Wire Deer. The one that you see here is called Scan, and he's in charge of the Basque Legion. There's also Leanne that you see right here and he's in charge of Cleaver who we will definitely go over later on in this video. And finally, there's Arezu, who they didn't say which Pokemon that she's in charge of, but on the Pokemon's official website, it states that Arezu is in charge of a certain lady Pokemon, so I guess we'll find out at a later date. Now, it was also introduced in this trailer that you can do a lot of customizations to your characters and your Pokemon and some items as well. As you can see here, yes, you can customize your different items by crafting them, and this allows you to unlock different traits for your Pokemon, and to top it all off, you can also customize the look of your Pokemon trainer. And this is really cool. A lot of cool outfits were showcased within this trailer. And from the looks of the clothing that you see here, it matches the time period for this game. The Pokemon Company also revealed a brand new photo mode for Pokemon Legends Arceus where you can take different photos with your Pokemon and it looks pretty dope. It's not something that I'm going to be doing within the game, but I know a lot of people like to take pictures with their different Pokemon and things like this. So it's pretty cool. Now to end things off, a brand new Hisuian evolution of a Pokemon was revealed. According to the Pokemon Company, this is a Hisuian evolution of the classic Gen 1 Pokemon Cypher and it's called Cleaver. As you can see, this Pokemon is glowing gold or yellow or whatever color you want to call it and it's going berserk on the Pokemon trainers. Your goal is to weaken these different Pokemon that are going berserk and to make them dizzy or dazed or whatever and then you can hit them with these bags called bombs the same way that you do when you're catching a Pokemon and this will calm these berserk Pokemon down. Now, with all that being said, let's take a look at a brief description of this Axe Pokemon called Cleaver. Cleaver is categorized as an Axe Pokemon. It's a bug slash rock type Pokemon and the height is 5'11". The weight is about 196 pounds. Now, for those of you wondering why this Pokemon was going berserk and was glowing gold or yellowish, here's the summary of that as well. Frenzied Noble Pokemon. A strange phenomenon is causing nobles to suddenly fly into a frenzy, making them incredibly difficult to rein in. As part of the Survey Corps, you will be called upon to quell the frenzies of the nobles. So, there you all have it. Just a brief summary of what was showcased in today's brand new trailer for Pokemon Legends Arceus. And I must say man, these brand new gameplay elements and different things that they're adding into this game is really cool. And every time that we see a brand new trailer for this game, it keeps looking better and better. And like I said in a previous video about Pokemon Legends Arceus, this is the combat system that we've been waiting on and I'm super excited for this game to drop on January 28th, 2022. And although the graphics and the textures aren't polished as of yet, this game drops in January of next year so there's plenty of time for the Pokemon company to make this better. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. What are your thoughts on everything that was discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.